Hey everybody, welcome to Crafting in My PJs. I am Millie. Today we are going to make a Dollar Tree craft that you can use as a gift for someone this holiday season. I think you're going to like it. So this is what you need, all from Dollar Tree. We need one of these plastic containers like this. It has a, a handle. I also had originally picked up like a pencil case. That would work too, but I like this because it had the handle. Um, some dry erase markers. Might even have those in your house already. I used my Cricut, but you could use a permanent marker and make the words Yardsy. Guess what we're making? And two packs of these uh, wooden blocks. All right, found them in the crafting aisle. It's the Crafter Square brand. Um, haven't seen them at all my Dollar Trees, but I've been seeing them more and more. So, as you guess, we are making a yards a game. Last year for Christmas, I ordered these wooden blocks, the big ones, from Amazon, put them in a five gallon bucket, decorated with yardsy sign, made some um, laminated uh, scorecards, put them on mini clipboards, and gave it to a family member for Christmas, and it was for the camp that we have, and thought that would be a great game. But it is kind of big, and it is a lot of storage. So what about a smaller version that you can keep on a shelf, play it inside, play it outside? How much fun is that? All right, so join me down on the crafting table, and we're gonna put this together. Literally, we'll take you, I don't know, 10 minutes? All right. See you soon. Okay, so we are ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we've opened up our uh, wooden dice and we are going to make our uh, dots. Now, if you have a Cricut or any kind of die cutting machine, or not die cutting, but any kind of cutting machine, and you wanna make either a stencil so that your dots are really pretty, or you want to cut out little circles, black circles to go on the blocks, um, be my guest. I'm not doing that because um, I don't want to deal with the little black circles and the vinyl and them moving and I'd have to seal everything. Now, Yard Z is, takes five dice, but Yard Coal, which I think is a, an off of um, Farkle, which I've never played, that takes six dice. So that we're giving our recipient as much um, choice as possible for games, let's go ahead and make all six dice, since we have six. All right, so I'm just gonna draw circles. And I actually have a dice or a die in front of me and so I'm kind of watching what order those circles go in so that I can be as accurate as possible. Because I don't know about you, but some of the people that I uh, play family games with, they can be quite intense. And if things aren't done perfectly, so would they know if the dice were drawn in a different order than standard dice? I don't know. Does my um, Dollar Tree foam dice that I'm copying, is it done in the right way? I don't know that either. But this is what we're going with. All right. All right, so I think 
so that you're not sitting here watching me draw circles. I am going to pause the vid video for a second. I'm going to finish drawing the rest of the circles and then I'm going to come back and we'll put everything together. And then this craft is done. All right, see you soon. Okay, we're back. All right, we've got our, our six dice done. So we're going to put those in. And we have our dry erase markers, which you can take out of the package if you like. And we're going to put those in. Then, oh, we're going to have to take them out. It's just kind of a little too tall. All right. And you, you could separate these. So if you made several sets, you could put like two in each. Um, I went on to Google and I typed in free yardsy printable and I got this um, prints a little small for me but um, you can read it really well I copied and pasted into word and just put it put two to a page so I have like half a page because I want them to fit in the container and I also did yarkle uh, you might have to play around like the yarkle is kind of fuzzy so I would probably go back and look for a different yarkle um, but there they are and I have a laminating machine like one of those little personal ones so I would run these through the laminating machine making the dry erase markers perfect for this but um, if you don't have that it's perfectly fine um, you could Xerox a few copies of these and there you go you've got your own little book so we can put those in there so let's see we have the marker we have the dice we put the top on and and we have our words. Now, back last uh, Christmas, when I was making the five gallon bucket size ones of these, um, I purchased the SFG, the SVG. Oh my goodness, I can't talk today. I purchased the SVG from, I think, Etsy. And um, it had. Uh, Yardsy, it had some dice that came with it with the little dots and that's how I knew that the dots were a pain in the butt um, it Had a bunch of other things in it. So I just resized this one and reprinted it out. It is permanent vinyl um, But you know it takes a little while for permanent to really be permanent. So it's kind of flippy uppy, but again if you don't have a die cutting machine or a like a Cricut or a Silhouette, you could um, just get some stencils and you could use a permanent marker and you could use those stencils and you could put the word right there on the container. All right, can't talk and do this at the same time, obviously. Let's see, E, one more E. One more E. And I don't put, I did not for, I don't even know if I have it. I'd have to look. I did not put Yarkle on the front. None of my family actually plays Yarkle. If we play anything, it's the Yardsy, the Yahtzee version. Um, but just to have that capability. And there you go. Look how cute. All right. I'm going to turn you back around so that we are face to face. Okay, here we go. All done. Quick, easy gift for the holiday season, for a birthday, for any holiday that you may give gifts to young ones, teenagers. I gave the five gallon one to adults. So um, yeah, great, great gift for home. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining me today for this quickie craft. And um, hopefully you come back and see some more. I've got a few more crafts coming up. I love Dollar Tree, so I have a lot of Dollar Tree crafts. And um, I'm also into uh, junk journals and some paper type crafts. So I've been doing a lot of that too. So hopefully you come and join me for some more. All right, bye.